Hello everyone, I am Adhish as a mountain expert at Trek Up India and today we are going to discuss about the walking rides in the mountains. Walking in the mountains is a very enjoyable thing but in the mountains we have to take certain precautions, certain do's and don'ts are required while you are going for a walk in the mountains. Because like when we are coming for a trek in the mountains we are with the floras and faunas as well so our walk and our pattern of walking can also disturb the floras and faunas of our surrounding so we have to make sure that we don't disturb the floras and faunas of our surrounding we have designed some measures that how we should walk while coming for a track in the mountain so now in the further steps we will be discussing about the each and all the steps that how we have to walk in a proper manner while coming for the track. First and the foremost thing, which side of the trail to walk on. Firstly, if you are walking slowly, try to walk on the cliff side of the trail, letting others pass who are either walking in the same direction or coming from the opposite direction. If you are tracking in a group, try to maintain a queue. Always track in a proper queue if you are tracking in a group because instead of hogging the whole trail it makes difficult for other trackers as well. Hikers who are climbing uphill should walk on the cliff side of the trail. Second thing, walking with the correct posture. It is very critical to walk or climb in a correct stance if you are walking upright. It increases the chance of falling back. So it is important to walk with your back bent in order to balance your back weight. You can do so by looking down and slightly bent on the hips. So the maximum weight will be on your shoulder and back. Third thing, the trekking pole as a support. Trekking pole help you walk on the trail very easily. It will maintain a balance and reduce strain on your legs and joint and provide additional support while you're walking on the steep or uneven terrain the ideal way to hold the trekking pole is when your arm is at 90 degree angle which we have earlier discussed with you in the previous videos fourth walking small steps and taking a break if you're climbing up the mountains it requires a great deal of endurance if you walk fast so you may exert yourself and will make it difficult to recover so walking fast will lead to heavy breathing and that can lead to fatigue so walking slowly or taking small steps put less strain on your muscles and help preserve energy which will definitely help you out in order to cover more distance descend smartly when you're walking downhill you need to walk carefully as one bad move may lead to serious injury. The walking at a slow pace in a zigzag pattern is the proper way to descend. This helps your body maintain balance and bend your knees while walking. Avoid jumping from boulders and climbing down at a face pace. Last thing, the mules. There are a number of trackers who use mules for offloading and they walk on the same track as the trackers. So while walking on the track, you also need to keep your distance and avoid collision while with the trackers. When you see a mule approaching, you should get on the side of the mountain and give them way to cross on the valley side. 